All right, we are live right now. I am going to go ahead and uh, get started, wrap up the remaining games in the queue at this moment for the Blackthorn Prod Game Jam. So we got about six or seven games listed here uh, that didn't get streamed um, yesterday. And hello, Iris. Wait, check for the sneezing. Look at the lights. No, no, I'm good right now. Oh, man, that's uh, <laughs> out of nowhere. Hello. It's great to have you. Um, yeah, so it's about six games. Um, I don't plan on being on for more than a couple hours, but I just I didn't want to take anybody out of the queue, and I want to make sure that everybody that submitted a game was able to get their game stream. So um, I also only announced that this stream was happening um, yesterday in the Blackthorn Prod uh, uh, chat. So um, I'm really not trying to take any further um, uh, entries in. But if you were here and you were here yesterday, and your game is already in this list, then I'm more than happy to uh, to stream it now. Watch to seven, hello, welcome to the party. Jason's here again, welcome back, everybody. Ah, we got your game here now. To find a place, this is Watch to give you a follow. I think you sent me a message recently about this, so super happy to, to be able to reconnect and be able to kind of get this streamed for you here. You'll be first up. Congratulations. This is to find a place. That exe. We'll go back to the game page after we give it a download. All right. A short project put together for the game jam. Enjoy every second, because you don't have a lot of them. The game is short, I mean. Sorry for the rough music. I had like an hour to do anything. Arrows to move, Z for action. And also at one point, you'll need to type. Checking it out. Bam. All right. Wonderful. And we have it downloaded here. To find a place. Oh, man. There's, well, there's menu ticks already. Nice. It got sound. <laughs> All right. To find a place. Let's go ahead and hit play. Z. You're a comet, studying in an Andromeda galaxy. Your good friend invited you to a nearby party. You decided to go. The party was fantastic. You really had a good time. Unfortunately, you woke up at an unknown location. You called your friend and told him about the situation. Hey, man, I just woke up. I don't know where I'm at. He'll be able to pick you up tomorrow and take you back to your place. But until then, you have to find a place to crash for the night. It's a comet's dilemma. Oh, and here we are. I need to find a home. I am a comet. Oh, hey, what's this guy? I can talk to him. Oh, so you want to crash for the night? Mm, you have to ask somebody else. I'm late for an important meeting. But you can ask Sleepy Joe. He's always around, ready to help. All right, let's go find Sleepy Joe. Oh, here's an asteroid, though. Probably, I can't go through this. It's like a barrier. Oh, ooh, can I get in there? Can I go in here and check it out? Wonderful. I like the artwork. I kind of like your space music. It's very, it's very spacey. It feels appropriate. It sets the mood. Very cool. I'm like inside of this asteroid area now. Where's Sleepy Joe at? Just doing my thing. I really feel like a comet, too, driving around. Oh, this is green dude. How to wake up Slip Joe? It's very easy. You'll have to solve my riddle first. On an invisible line, a silver kite. You can see it shine on a summer night. On an invisible line, a silver kite. You can see it shine on a summer night. Uh, is it a shooting star? Seriously? You don't remember? These parties are crazy every year. I need to solve this riddle. All right. You have to solve my riddle. An invisible line? A silver kite. Line, a silver kite. You can see it shine on the summer night. 
on an invisible line, a silver kite. A silver kite. Is there like a constellation that looks like a kite? On a silver line, like a line with a kite. I don't know my star stuff that well. I'm cheating, I'm gonna Google. Oh, well, no, I'm not gonna Google. <laughs> I can't. There we go. It's the constellation Boots. I cheated. Boots. Nope. You don't remember? I guess I got it wrong. A comet? <laughs> Is it? Is it a comet? Hold on. Let's see. I break the game. I love windows open. Seriously? You don't remember? Seriously? Take my input. Wait, I'm gonna hit. There we go. These parties are crazier every year. Alright, yes. Let's try comment. It's very easy, but you'll have to solve my riddle first. Alright. Comment. No. Darn it. Nope, it's really not boots. Oh man, um, what could it be? What could it be? There's also a bug. If you're too far from the person uh, you're speaking to, you can't progress. So that might be a problem. Um, maybe it's just a star. That's too easy. All right, well, let's go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I just wanna find a place to sleep for the night. What's everybody's deal around here? Whoa. Ooh, who's this? I know what you're gonna say. Aren't you smart to be a planet? Well, let me ask you one thing. Mind your own business. <laughs> Let's go. I'm I'm done with this area. I'm going. I'm leaving. As soon as I find the door. I'm leaving this. There we go. I'm out of here. Oh, who's this? Is this Sleepy Joe? This must be Sleepy Joe. How would we wake up Sleepy Joe? Let's see if there's somebody else around here. Oh, there's the asteroid belt again. Is the other one like Pluto? I feel like it's Pluto. <laughs> also, I have some problems with viewing the stream since there's only a 720 option. Oh. Yeah, I'm not a partner. So I can't change that, unfortunately. That's a, um, but I can give you the VOD, watch that, or I can give you a file later on and parse out your game. Uh, if you message me on Discord, I can get you a, a, a video file of the stream. So that way you can enjoy it better. Um, only Twitch partners get transcoding, so I'm not, I don't have enough viewers in order to be able to achieve transcoding. I would need to have 75 viewers a month. That's why that's like the most, that's more important than like donations and bits and subs and all that stuff is actually just having people watched because that, that way more people can experience the game jam content. So to me, viewer is like the, like the most the best thing anybody can give me is just their is just their view <laughs> of the stream because that helps us grow exposure to game jams um unfortunately someday hopefully i don't i don't think twitch will change that though but someday they might 
Ooh, it's this. Well, we already talked to this guy. All right, so we just need to figure out this riddle. I used to stream it in 1080, and that was really bad. Like, nobody could enjoy it. Me. All right. Our only clue is this riddle. Let's see here. It's very easy. On an invisible line, a silver kite. You can see it shine on a summer night. Mm -hmm. Oh, Boots has a different name with umlauts. Nope. Oh, maybe it's Ursa Minor. Let's see. Let's see if it's Ursa. Ursa kind of looks like a kite. Ursa. Nope. Ursa Minor? Hmm. Watch to what's the answer to the riddle? I don't know what the answer is. Tell us. Spoiler at work. I feel like it's an event. Comet. Did I misspell comet? I thought I tried Comet already. Oh, excellent! That was one of the first things I tried. Iris suggested Comet. I must have, or Meteor. You could do either one. It wasn't Boots. All right. Okay, we're back here. Now I'll tell you the secret. To wake up Joe, you need to do nothing. He usually gets up right about now. <laughs> oh, Joe. All right. We're leaving the belt. You typed comment. Oh, I, I had caps lock. <laughs> caps lock failure. All right. There's Joe right there. And we just missed him. Joe. Joe. Huh? What? Yeah, of course you can stay, but there's only one rule. No heavy metal. Haha, <laughs> get it? <laughs> It's a joke. And I land. And I landed on there. Here's our credits. This game was made for the Black Thorn Prod. Game Jam number two. Everything was done by Watchta. Twitter's Watchta7. Escape to go to the menu. Make sure to follow you on Twitter right now. Watchta7. Watchta7. Seven. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. That's not you. That's you. I found you, Watchta. You've been followed. Bam. Excellent. Escape to the menu. Q to quit. Excellent. Yes, my cap's lock. And that's why you make this stuff case insensitive, kids. <laughs> Aww. At least I went for the very hard answer for Boots. Boots is the kite comet. All right, we're going to mark this one down as streamed. As soon as I get the dashboard up over here. 
Excellent. Bam. Okay. If you're here and your game's on the list, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to go in order. Don't worry. Either way, all the games on this list will be streamed today. Uh, next up is going to be Salmon XD Interplanetary. Make sure to do my diligence and clean this queue up. If games get added today, they'll probably get streamed on Wednesday. I only have a couple hours, so um, maybe like an hour, hour and a half, maybe two. And I gotta, I'm so far behind because I did the 14 hour stream yesterday. I didn't like do laundry or clean my house or buy groceries or do any of my adult things that I have to do. <laughs> like all my, all my, all my grown up stuff I have to take care of today. <laughs> so I'm doing like a double, like a whole day of chores. So it's not that I want to leave and stop streaming games today. It's just I have to I have to make up the time that I invested yesterday. All right, this game here is Interplanetary. It was by Salmon Studios. If you fly around in space and land on different planets and try out your spaceship that mysteriously flew off without warning, thankfully you got GPS on that ship so you know where to go. I feel like we played. Did I play Interplanetary yesterday? I think I I feel like I did. Interplanetary. Maybe not. We'll download it now. There's a game that had very, very similar artwork, maybe. We'll see here. Extract all. There's a lot of games. It was actually 46 games uh, were streamed yesterday. Congrats. I had a fun time coming up with a puzzle that would rhyme. It was very cool. I like the riddle. And it was nice to see someone play my game. Thanks, has watched a seven. Thank you for sharing your game. I appreciate it. Um, like I mentioned before, if you want to join, um, I, I don't know, you, you might already be in my Discord server, so I'm sorry if you're there already. But if you're not, if you join Discord, message me directly, just DM me, um, and ask for that video clip. Um, when I do my post-production, I'll snip out your video, and I'll send it to you as a file that you can then watch and download so you can watch it on your own. I'm sorry about the transcoding. It's, I unfortunately I don't have a lot of control over that though. Right now, someday in the future I will. Someday when Game Jam becomes like awesome and popular, game in exe. Here we go. Interplanetary.exe. Bam. Run anyway. Let's check this out. Someday we'll get there as a team. Interplanetary levels options. Back. Levels. Six levels. Play. Ah, here's our ship. Did we get the controls? Were the controls on the jam page? They are. While on the ground, A and D horizontal space will jump. Left click for jetpack. While in space, left click, use jetpack, and last movement. All right. So, yes, A and D. Jetpack. Oh, I couldn't leave the planet. There we go. Almost. Oh, I, did I just die? Oh, my goodness. All right. So, I have to go to, I guess I have to try to get to a, another habitable planet. That's not going to work. Time to jump just right, and I was able to go flying. Hold on. How did I do that? Hmm. I can't leave the space. Oh my gosh, it's a black hole. I want to go into a planet. There we go. I think using the jetpack on the ground and then jumping is what like launched me that time. Hold on. 
Yeah. Yeah. Next level in three. All right. Yeah, it's definitely... I would think that you would jump and then use your jetpack. Um, so that, that confused me at first, but now I understand. Oh my gosh, there's black holes everywhere. Okay, let's try this again here. Let's try this again. A little exploration. That's a black hole. You can see the matter getting sucked in off the screen. That kind of shows you that you're in for a black hole situation there. Here's a little planet. We'll get to that guy. It's nice and easy. Yeah. Oh, this one's like... That's not a good planet to be on. Some planets are not good. We're healed up, though. Oh, man, that black hole almost took me for a ride. Now that I'm getting the hang of jumping, like, once I've learned this, uh, the mechanic of it... Oh, what am I doing? Get out of there. No! No, not to the black hole. Go this way. I think we're gonna hit our ship, like, perfectly. I did it. Now that I figured it out, I'm really getting it. It took a little bit of time to get used to jumping off the planets, but once you figure that out, it's all pretty smooth sailing from there. Smooth space adventuring. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> well, this gravity's fun though. All right. You know, I'm really regretting not participating in this jam. All these games have been so much fun. I feel like I, I wish I could have made time to do this. I'm having a lot of regret now. I would like a healthy planet to like hang out at. Not, I get some fuel back here. Dead again. Dead again. I'm not dead yet. Did a backflip there. Alright. There it is. I like the addition of the dust planets and the black holes. I'm looking for something new though, this many levels in. Now I wanna see like a new mechanic, like a space station or you know, some other, some other new thing. My mind is starting to get bored with the, with the mechanics I know now. I'm like, okay, I've learned all these. It's time to learn something new. Oh, here we go, a lava planet. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Does my health come back? No, it does not. <laughs> All right. Also, I'm wondering why I have to wait to restart. Like here, I can just push R and restart in instantly. So how come when I die, I have to wait five seconds? That doesn't seem fair. black hole right there. We don't want to go there. Earth planet. Drifting through, trying to dodge these black holes.
No, this is a very hard one. Is this the last level? I don't wonder what level I'm on too. Seeing what level I'm on would be another good thing to do. And that one wasn't giving me damage right away. I'm gonna try to go up the side here. Sneak down by like a sneaky snake. There we go. Got it. All right. There's six levels. I've lost count. I have no idea which level I'm on. Oh, here's a sun. This is new. I bet you I can't touch that. It looks like spikes. Oh, I'm in a dust planet. I wasn't even paying attention. like a sun. Let's see what's out here. There's another dust planet over there. Our ship, oh man. We found our ship. Good deal. You can parkour on the small islands on the planet and avoid damage. It isn't a flat step on the ground and hurt deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level generation in progress, please wait. Sir, is this our last level? Actually, is this one proc gen? Does it just go into procedurally generated levels after that? Sun. All right, let's go. We never actually tried to go into a sun, but I'm assuming they're like black holes and probably bad. If you're patient, you can just go really slowly and, and get pretty far. I'm going to refill here. The mechanics are really enjoyable, though. I will say, that was fun. Yeah, there we are. That was easy. That was great. I, does it just infinitely go into procedurally generated ones, I wonder? I think so. It's an interesting use of like pre-generating levels to teach all the mechanics slowly over time and then going into the proc gen worlds afterwards. There we 
go. The only difference is the Procton worlds are easier than the, <laughs> than the predefined ones. All right, we'll kill it now. Very cool though, lots of fun. Very cool. Excellent. Thank you so much, Simon Studios, for submitting your game. Sorry we didn't get to it yesterday. Glad that we can stream it today. I'm going to go ahead and mark this one as streamed. Also, that was Interplanetary. And next up, we're going to play uh, Chris Wen's 3D game, Plant Planets. I'll let them know really quick. I think I told them in Discord directly that I would let them know when they were up. I don't see them in there. So we're going to go ahead. I don't know what their Discord name is. Chris Wen 3 d your game's a plant planet. It's cool because it's a little plant with a planet head. Submission for Black Thorn Prod, game jam number two. Sorry, no saving sounds or tutorial. We're going to go ahead and, on that note, kick on our music. Uh, you can figure it out on your own or read below. I had a late start due to midterm, so I couldn't get everything done that I wanted. Oh, well, it was fun to make regardless. Plant Planets is a casual, relaxing game where you collect stardust from falling stars to find materials to plant your own mini planets. Thanks for playing. All right, here's a tutorial. Falling stars will give you one stardust in one color. They have a chance to give you soil or water, too. You can add a max of two colors. If you add three, it'll just take the first two. Planets cost one soil and at least one color, one water with at least one color to plant. All right, soil and a color and a water one color to plant plants need to be fed for three days with stardust there are no days so just feed them three times by clicking on them looks like there's probably an intention to have days but it didn't get there when your mini planet sprouts you can click on the sky to see them up close awesome we'll download it Extract all. Plant planets. We've already extracted it. Are we in motion or is it Are they just falling we just click these colors here okay different colors of stardust fall from the sky and we click them and that's accumulating up here now i think we can plant Stars give you stars give you one stars and one color. You need to have a max of two colors. If you add three, you'll just take the first one. Planets costs one soil and at least one color. With one water, at least one color to plant. This must be the water. Soil. All right. Oh, here's our plant. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay. Soil solution. Oh, we're going to make this a blue. 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 Water solution yellow plant planet planet boom now we're getting all sorts of stuff's falling right now let's make a yellow planet yellow yellow planet all right, so we should have like a green planet probably and a yellow planet. We clicked it three times to feed it its stardust. 
And uh, now our planet was born. We should see it up here in the sky, too. Here's one of our planets that we made. It's got some nice bloom effect going on. We don't see the other planet that we had, though. Maybe he didn't... Maybe he didn't live. Alright, let's make a red planet. Time to make Mars, everybody. This button doesn't seem to register every time I click it. There it goes. Oh, because I have to actually click this and then click the button. Okay, now I got it. Let's plant. There we go. Ah. They're caught behind each other. I want to see the red planet. This is the red planet that we just made. Shadow Trooper, hello. Welcome to the stream. Great to have you here. Very cool. They're awesome. All right, let's make a let's make a red and purple planet, or red and blue. I mean, purple's not an option. Purple, blue, but red and blue should make purple. This should be cool looking. I don't think this is it. When we click the planet, we should see which ones it was the makeup of. Like, I don't know which planet's which. I don't know which one of these guys... Which one is this one? What did this one make? It's just a white planet. That's boring. My red planet so far is the coolest one. Do they only go by once? I think so. I don't think they loop again. But for having midterms, overall, it's a cool concept. I wish I wish there was more. <laughs> I, like, I like the idea of making the planets there just needs to be more of a more of a gameplay in built into the loop the ui is nice I like it. oh there's my red planet it came back here it is so they are looping around i've made a few i'll make another just blue we can't add more than one either all right blue blue double blue planet oh no there is there's blue red and then blue Ooh, look at this one now that's cool looking. There you go. Now that's a that's a planet you could be proud about. All right. Awesome. All right. Closing this one out. Marking this one down as streamed. Thank you so much for the submission, Chris. Bam. Chris Win 3D. All right, next up is Planet Defender. This is by Arcane Panda. We will follow Arcane Panda. I feel like we were already following Arcane Panda. Is that true? Let's see. Or like we've already played Command Line. Shoot Racer. Nope, we have not played any of these. But we're going to play Planet Defender right now. All right, this is Arcane Panda's submission from yesterday's stream. Uh, Planet Defender. Hello, Shadow Trooper. Welcome to the stream. We're streaming. I'm wrapping up. I'm finishing out my queue of Blackthorn prod games that were streamed or submitted yesterday that I had to cut due to time. I intended to stream for 12 hours yesterday, and I streamed for 14. And uh, I mean, plus I took like a an hour and a half lunch, but whatever. I stopped though around 8 o'clock and started 6 in the morning. So I had a few games left. I'm trying to get through those, and then I'm going to start on post-production, and I have, to, I have to go and be an adult <laughs> the rest of the day and go do, go do things like laundry and dishes and grocery shop. Grocery shop. Indeed, sir. Yes, buy the groceries. I do have cereal. I mean, I can keep eating cereal, but I would like to eat something else. All right. Planet Defender. The galaxy has not seen war in 10,000 years, but with an alien fleet incoming, you must do your part in protecting your home. In this tower defense game, you must fly around colonizing planets and establishing defenses, industry, and beacons. Use these defenses to destroy alien ships, industry, support your endeavors. Use beacons to lure aliens away from your home. Controls. Maneuver your ship using the WAS keys. Colonize planets by clicking on them with the left mouse button. 
view the entire galaxy by holding down the space bar. Space bar will show us everything. Left mouse will colonize, and we can maneuver our ship with WAST. All right, say it twice so I don't forget. All right, we're going to give this a go and play it. Where is the game? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's the download? Everything else is done by me. I don't think we have a download here. Planet Defender. Arcane Panda. What have you done to us? Am I missing something? View submission page. I like to play, but I can't find it. Same Z's. Cannot find a download. Cannot find a download. All right. Maybe there's a web link somewhere. No. I will say that this gym, this gym has more RTS and tower defense games than I've seen in any other game gym that I've played probably on, on stream in the last couple of years. Like, I've never seen so many strategy and uh and tower defense games and i wonder if it's all based off the tiny planets theme like that theme has just somehow like you know been the go-to like oh i should make an rts game or oh i should make a tower defense game and to me those are super scary like because in a game jam like you have to, those games require balancing and not all games like you can make a lot of different games that don't require balancing if free if I'm, I'm like i would be scared of that i'd be like no <laughs> i'm not gonna try to do that Nope. I'll go with something easy and a story. All right. Next up will be Little Alien Rescue. Little Alien Rescue. You are part of an alien creature rescue team. Fly to different planets and capture unique creatures. Explore the zip file and run. .exe. Export the zip. No. Hopefully controls are in-game. We will follow Albino Bat. Giving you a follow here. Extract all. Little planets. Little planets. Little alien rescue. Instructions or play. Instructions. You are a part of an alien animal race. Rescue and relocation program. Left click on the location that you want your starship to move and zoom in and out of planets with the mouse wheel or the arrow keys. All right, so left click to where we want to go and then we zoom in with the mouse wheel. With radar selected, hold right mouse button to locate creatures. With the target locked, right selected, with target locked on, with target locked on selected, right click and check nearby area for creatures. All right. Every creature has their own unique move patterns. Memorize the pattern and keep the targets inside the trail. Hold down left click to slow down and extend the trail. Once lockdown meter is full, you can catch the creature. Creature caught. That's a fruit bowl. $50. Bring back to the mothership and turn your caught creatures for cash. At the mothership, you can buy access to new planets with the new cash that you've made. All right. How many can you find? I think that's all of it. Let's go. Let's check it out. So we can zoom out. Nope, exit. We're leaving. Ah, there's mouse wheel zooms in. And then this is our target lock on. This is our alien locator. Hot key one, hot key two. Oh, one and two. I think it's telling us to go this way. Down here. Oh, it's getting warmer. seen any aliens yet
Oh, it must be closer to the ground. Ah, here's an alien. Oh, okay. Okay, now I figured it out. You have to zoom all the way in. I caught a worm. Oh, look at the worm. It's adorable. All right, back to our scanner here. Oh, here we go. These are like, it's like a really fun mini game in here. Oh, it's a Chiba Cthulhu. It's a Chiba Thulu. Chiba Thulu. We have a box here. These are our two guys that we've caught. Another Chibathulu. Let's go sell some of these dudes. I like that you just like uh, use the mouse wheel. And it, it, that's how you like handle landing and, and all that. All the complication between landing on the planets and, and departing and going into orbit and then deorbiting are all handled by the scroll wheel. It's very, very convenient. Sorry, eyes are a little dried out here. All right. So I think I can sell these now. I'm gonna sell some aliens. 80 bucks, please, 80 bucks. I'm keeping my warmth. No one's gonna have my warmth. What can I buy? Oh, I can buy access to another planet. Okay. Oh, I wanna get access to Karis, so let's go back and let's go catch some more stuff. This is, I'm having a good time. This is a fun game. All right. And it's pretty, I mean, I can just play with my mouse. This is a game I can drink coffee and play. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Here we go. This is Chibathulu. I can tell by its movement pattern. I'm getting really good at this. Boom. There it is. We'll find another one, too. Yes. Uh, probably another worm. I only need one worm. I don't need multiples. Nice. Worms go left and right. Chibathulus go up and down. That's what I've learned. Right, let's go sell. An Antoba. It's another Antoba. Oh, I got good at that one. Ooh, it's a new creature. We don't have one of these. It's very exciting. Uh, one of the things that makes it really exciting is the naming and the artwork. Ah, oh, this is a furple. Very cool. I want to keep one of the cute ones that I like. I want to keep an Antoba. I don't want to sell them all. 
another furball. There we go. I like if uh, <laughs> if this was my game. After the jam was over, it would be cool to get like uh, like rarer or more lucrative, um, uh, like special creatures, like almost like not to directly rip off like Pokemon, but like shiny or like really really cool like rare color patterns based off of how successful you are at this. This game's fun. I would like to see like how what percentage of error that I make. I'd like to see like I would like to start to get challenged once I learn the patterns, because then there'd be a lot of reward for recatching. Be like oh. Oh, this is totally purple. I know how to catch for this. This is great. You know, I got this down. It's great. Boom. Another. This is another purple here, and you can anticipate its movement and almost get it perfect. If you get good, like you could get good at this, it'd be fun. I'm really excited to see what's on the next planet. I don't know how much these sell for either, so I don't know how long I should capture them until I go by another... Oh, here we go. Here we go. So, bam. 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 I like the Antoba. I mean, it's kind of cute. I would keep one of those as a pet. Uh, Jason says, This game seems like fun. Good graphics and addictive Pokemon-like collection catching system. Yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty hooked on seeing what, what all there is to catch on this. And unlock those other planets. I'm hoping that the price scales up pretty good. Because I only have so much time. Alright, we're going to go. This is what I have in my box right now. I'm going to sell... Look at all these purples I caught. I'm going to sell five purples and two in Toba. I'm keeping an in Toba, though. I might sell this, too. I might just keep these two dudes. We'll see how much it's worth. Let's head out. I have 90 bucks. There we go. Sell. So, oh, yeah. 150. Boom. Uh, which one should we keep? We'll get rid of one of those. There we go. I got some money now. Let's buy. These plants look very similar. Mazu and Chion. Percy's. Dryadea. And Chion. We'll go to Chion next. Alright, sold. Exit. Nice color change there, too. Here's Chion. creature <laughs> it's a swolber oh that's adorable swolber a swolber Another one. So far, there's been, I think, two unique creatures on each planet. Unless there's some rare ones that we never saw. I'm, like, really wanting to play Pokemon right now. Oh, man. I wonder how much these are. This is another Swolber. Yeah, we're used to those. Oh, this is a new one. Triangle style. Whoa, it's got like a really unique pattern. It's like a small triangle and then a diamond. An orc an orguin. Orguin. An orguin. All these names. That's it's probably hard to come up with. All the names for the planets, all the names for the creatures, all these patterns to catch them with. Very cool. Another swolver. Orguin. All 
I'm kind of hooked on this. <laughs> I can't stop catching them. Okay. All right, let's, we're gonna go. We're gonna go sell these dudes. Oh, yeah, we're rolling the money now. Wait. Did those dudes cost me more money? Those those other dudes? I'm down to 660 now. Alright, hold on. Are they actually bad? Man, what? That can't be good. I think these guys cost me money. I'm gonna check again. <laughs> oh no, they made me money. 300, okay. What, did, what happened then? How did I lose so much money, I wonder? How'd Percy's get unlocked? Oh, did I buy Percy's by accident? Weird. Am I losing my mind? Alright. <laughs> A Shelmo! I wonder if the UI wasn't blocking Raycast still. Like if the there was still Raycasting going on to the planetary purchase button in the background when I was selling stuff. And somehow I clicked in the same spot and accidentally bought a planet access at the same time. We can find out here in a minute. I'll test it with the next planet purchase. There might be a bug with the uh, the paneling or the canvas groups. If this was made in, oh, this was made in Game Maker Studio. For a second, I was made, if it was made in Unity, I could probably explain exactly what was going on, but... I don't know anything about Game Maker. Shalomo! I think I have it, but I never used it. Gotta shut them all. <laughs> all right. Let's go make some sales. So there is a planet here in the UI. Nope. I don't know how I lost money and how I bought that other planet. I don't remember buying it, but evidently I bought this planet somehow. All right. We're going to skip dry jump. We're going to go right to Mazu, and we'll buy this other planet later. We're going to go out of order here just for fun. Mazoo, here we are. Whoa, this guy's hard to catch. We got him though. It's a frogon. A frogon. He's kind of cute. We might keep the frogon. Another frog on? I think so. I was really, really better at catching it that time when I knew the pattern.
Another frog on. I think that oh, there's only frogons on this planet. I'm trying to find something new. But all I'm catching is frogons. We'll do one more. How's my box looking? I got a lot of stuff in my box here. sell. Oh, yeah, I lost 1500 there when I sold that guy. So I don't know why when I sold the last frog on I lost 1500 and it bought the planet. Something triggered weird like uh, where I was, hey, I bought a planet while I was doing stuff. Zoom's doing a weird thing there, too, with the mouse. Exit. Okay. Let's go to Hydra really quick. Maybe they ran out of time. Or one of the frog guns made it to other animals go extinct. Who knows? Oh, this griffin tail. We have to keep that. That looks awesome. I mean, with how much all the artwork in this, I wouldn't surprise me if they ran out of time. There's so many assets that were drawn for this game. Holy crap. And nothing looks stock. Everything looks like... Like, really, really well done. Even the minigame. Like, the minigame's fun. Like, it... it it's cool, like, you're identifying the pattern in the creature. It's... It's very, very polished. <laughs> and it's a fun game. And it definitely... The theme is perfect. Tiny planets. And you're catching all these little critters. Alright. There we go. These are my three that I'm keeping. I'm keeping a griffin teal, an antoba, and a warmth for myself. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Where I'm where I can go. I can just venture out. No, it's definitely selecting my target there. Alright. That ends this. Four grand. And that was planets. Little Alien Rescue by albino bat very fun little alien rescue it was fantastic what a great game that was a that was a nice a nice time for sure for sure all right and god's employees our last game And this one is by Next Five or Next Eve. The submission was from Elindica. Elindica. Let's check it out. Left click, left, left click, left click to destroy. Middle click to open and close upgrade menu. Right click to heal for ten money. 
Right click heals, left click destroys, middle click changes upgrades. Let's figure out what we're gonna do. Let's see what's gonna happen. Download. There we go. Extract all. All right, made with Unity. Start game. Greetings, my apostle. Welcome to your first day of work. As you may know, I'm quite busy creating all the solar systems and things to destroy them and stuff like that. So I need you to protect this solar system named CSM-236. Just keep the meteorites away from it and do whatever is needed. You better... But better you know if you will fail, I'll throw you the most terrible divine wrath. Have a nice day, God. Actually, God music. 500, 500. This is our upgrade menu. 10 earths, 10 shields, or 10 hammers. That was the middle mouse button. I think left click destroys stuff. Ah. There's a meteorite that just came in. Ah. <laughs> now I see what we're doing. Oh man, they're coming in fast. Coming in hot. I should probably upgrade something. Uh, we'll do plus 10 to hammering. I don't know that I feel a, an influence of the hammering. I think we lost. We had the wrath. Let's try this again. Alright. It's definitely we're just kind of playing a game of keep away from the center of the screen. I wonder how this scales with the uh, windowed mode. Alright, let's go plus 10 planets. I don't know what that does. That gives like 10 health. That was, I don't, I don't notice a difference. Oh, let's start over again. All right, let's try, let's add the shield this time and see if we notice anything there. I haven't noticed any power up having any effect. I think the power ups are weak. shield. Oh, so the hit points went up. That's not going to help us, though. Alright, let's just try to go with hammer only this time, see if we notice a difference. I think, I think there's some balancing going on with the power-ups, or maybe the game's very easy, uh, and I'm really bad at it. I won't rule out that I'm terrible. No. I couldn't even get to 10 that time. I feel like it's going harder each time, too. Okay, that was pretty easy. Jeez. That time I feel like I'm fucking... Alright, let's go. Hammer upgrade. Nope, and we lost again. <laughs> oh man, alright. Very, very hard game. And the quit button's not working. <laughs> I can't quit! I'm here for eternity! Alright, I'm gonna hold. Let me see in the launcher here. I wanna see what happens if I make it like 800 by 600 windowed. Is this gonna be easier? I wonder. Because now, the problem is I have you know, the the high resolution is very hard. But now I have, I can just go everywhere. Oh yeah. This is like way easier on a lower resolution. 
I did take a hit. Let's let's do some power ups here. I'm still gonna lose. All right, hold on. Let's, now that we know that, let's let's take it all the way. Let's go. The lowest resolution we can go down to. Here we go. Here we go. I got this. I think the hammer is the same size also like it didn't it didn't scale with the resolution changes so it's a lot easier to hit the meteoroids now All right. oh I left one go no I let one go left one let one ah. all right I still don't notice like a real improvement with the um with the power-ups though, even when I do the hammer power-up, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel powerful. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna only go middle power-up this time to see what that does. Darn it. I'm not playing good now. There we go. What's funny is even when we when we take the the HP, we don't actually gain HP. It just is the upper bound, so it doesn't do any good. All right, and that was. That was God's Employee. And that was our last game. Last game of the Blackthorn Prod Game Jam. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. I'm going to see if we have someone to raid right now to go hang out with. Bear with me here. And then I'm going to go I'm gonna go do laundry and buy groceries. <laughs> do things. And actually, it looks like I'm going to deal with a bunch of snow also, which is great. Because it's coming down like crazy. All right, let's see. Let's see who is working on games. Somebody doing game dev. This guy looks like he is doing seven day roguelike challenge, and it looks like he's using. He could be using Good Doe. I can't tell from here. Could not be Good Doe, actually. Hey, there I am. I'm streaming too. Look at that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna check in on somebody doing a seven day roguelike challenge. That's exciting. That's a really awesome game jam. All right, bam, and away we raid. Thank you everyone for coming out. The next stream is on um, Wednesday. Wednesday is the next stream. Wednesday evening. The schedule's there. It'll show you in your local time zone when the next stream is gonna be. Thanks so much for coming out, and have a great day.